Well, let's see if this will freaking work. Oh man, it's close. Crotch Rocket is in the living room. Crotch Rocket is in the living room. This is hilarious. I like that. Well, and that is a beautiful sight. Anytime there's a sport bike in the living room, it's like, yes, please. Uh, so here's our setup. I got a table right there, all of our tools on that. You know, we've got some heavy duty tarps, like some canvases out. I've got the kickstand under a little foot right there. So the carpet underneath will stay fine. Now you're probably like, why? Is there a motorcycle in the living room? All right, so here's the deal, here's the deal. I'm gonna get a ferocious ECU flash done to our bike. But the weather, it's getting cold and dreary outside. And then, you know, it's gonna take at least a week for me to get this ECU back from who I send it to. And by that time, the highs are gonna be in the low 30s, it looks like. So these fairings, you know, standard manufacturer fairings aren't as bad, but aftermarket fairings, they get very brittle in the cold weather. And so I just don't wanna be outside. You know, I have no heat, I have no power in my garage. So I don't wanna be putting all these fairings back on our bike when it is freezing out. It's just, it's not gonna go as well. And I don't wanna risk breaking anything, any tabs not clicking back together. So today is stage one, step one getting the ECU. Now, Honda does not make this easy, but I will show you exactly how we're gonna go about this. All right, so everything we're talking about, it's gonna apply to a lot of different years of CBR600RR. Honda made these kind of tricky in that our ECU, you know, the air box, everything is under this plastic tank cover. So you have your metal gas tank kind of in the rear portion. Um, and then all the goodies are up front. Now to take off this tank cover. Oh, you've got some bolts and stuff that hold it in under here. So to get to those, you need to remove the side fairings. And to get these side fairings off, you're taking off the lower fairing. I mean, we're gonna need the seat off. These plastic side pieces will come off as well. So it's basically a full fairing disassembly to get to that. <laughs> that sucks. Now, why we're doing this all is because I did kind of a custom exhaust system. So our bike is decatted. I've got a two inch rear pipe, that link pipe going to our wide open muffler. So it's kind of like the poor man's full exhaust. Now with that open exhaust, there is power to be gained there. We've got something that's left on the table. Now before you get an ECU flash, whether you have a slip on exhaust or a full exhaust, you're not gaining any power. And depending on the bike and model, you may be losing power because you lost all your back pressure without adjusting your fuel and air levels, all the mapping to optimize your combustion to gain power from those changes. Now our bike, we never lost any power our bike never ran too lean with the system that I did and I think that's just kind of the layout of these Honda CBRs I mean the exhaust system is so long there and so I think if we had like an R6 or a ZX6R where it jetted out right here sure if we did a full exhaust and didn't get a flash we'd probably be running a little bit lean we would have lost our low end torque uh, we didn't lose anything on our CBR but we certainly didn't gain nothing not even an ounce so with an ECU flash then suddenly we can reap all the gains from our full, full exhaust job. Now, what am I expecting to gain here? I'm just, I'm gonna shoot low. We're gonna say seven horsepower because if we got a slip on exhaust and then we got an ECU flash, that's probably three or four a full exhaust system. I would count on seven and who knows, maybe it's more, maybe it would be like 12. I have no idea. And then we're gonna be sending our ECU to more mafia. Those guys, they do good work. I've had them do some ECU flashes on several of our bikes. They always turn out good. I've never had one complaint whatsoever. And of course, we're gonna do the ultimate pops and bangs flash they have. So this thing is gonna just be a flame spitting. It's gonna sound like gunshots when you let off the throttle and just barely breathe on it. It's cool. It's cool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out More Mafia's Ultimate Pops and Bangs Flash. They got some videos. It's pretty gnarly. Uh, and so that's just fun. I just like those. And to everybody who's like, oh, that tune is not good for your motorcycle. Yep, a turbo is not good for your motorcycle. Burnouts are not good for your tires. Hard launches aren't good for your clutch. That's just not a valid argument when it comes to high performance motorcycles. And I've never heard of any problems that anybody's had with that flash. I have 
certainly never had any problems. So I'm definitely, I'm gonna keep getting them because it is just the most fun when your bike is, yeah, I mean, it's just shooting flames, crackling, burbling, you'll see. You'll see. But so anyways, I've got a couple hours before I have to get this ECU. I'm trying to get this in the mail. It's Monday today, so if I get it in the mail, we send it to more. I should have our ECU back by mid next week, so we should be ready to rip by next weekend. So I guess I'm just gonna rip into this. We'll just start taking out all of our different fasteners. We'll kind of work from the bottom up is the best way to do that. Uh, things that are good to do while you're doing this, you know, if you have mismatched bolts, if your bolts are like corroded, kind of crappy, you know, the heads are kind of twisted off, just get a new bolt kit, get one off Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link to a bolt kit on there. They're like 20, 30, something like that. You can get any color of the rainbow if you want. I always just do black or silver, uh, but bolt kit, it's it's good to replace all those as you're doing this. And then you're gonna have everything so torn down, you might as well throw in a new air filter, throw in a high flow, you know, a K&N air filter if you want. And then I'm gonna be doing the spark plugs on our bike as well. You know, when you do something like this, you wanna knock out as many different maintenance or upkeep items as you can. You know, we don't wanna just do our ECU and then a few thousand miles down the road, then we've gotta rip back into it, do our air filter spark plugs. So we're just doing a clean sweep, all the the stuff, check all the boxes, get it all done. So without further ado, let's rip into this. Oh, and my name's Michael, welcome to the channel. We got all the fairings off. Those were really locked in, specifically the little tabs that lock in those t upper side fairings to the tank there. Uh, sometimes you just need to get a little plastic pry tool. Here, I'll show you what I was using. You know, a straight screwdriver you gotta be really gentle with because you don't wanna mar up those plastics, but like a plastic tool like this that you can kind of pry. Uh, that helped up by the nose here to get those little tabs out around here. And then specifically on those tank ones, something like this will be helpful. Uh, but everything came out perfectly. We've got parts all around the living room now. No tabs broken. And I knew that's how that would go if I did it inside versus out in the cold. Okay, so looking at our seat CBR now, there is that gas tank in the rear portion under that tank cover like I talked about and the ECU, bam, right there. You'll notice it because it has a gray and a black plug for it usually. That could have differed year to year but I think they all have a gray plug and a black plug. So you can see there's just this one little cross member bracket here. It's just two Phillips screws that hold that on and then I'll push these tabs and just pull those plugs, wiggle them side to side, get them out. It does not take sheer muscle. If you're pulling on any of those fairings and you're like, why won't it come? Nope, some, you've still got a fastener, you've got something, some tab clicked in, you just need to follow around and look. It does not take sheer muscle for any of those. Take our two little screws out. And those are just in plastic. They're in the top of the air box there. They're kind of a self-threading screw, so you'll have resistance on them until they're completely out. Don't want those screws to fall down in there. You don't want to lose those. All right, we'll just set that down out of the way. And this should just lift right on up out of there. It certainly does. So if I press on these tabs, and these are big plugs, you know, they have a lot of prongs in there. Uh, so it's gonna take a little wiggling side to side to get those out. Okay, yeah, how many prongs is that? Probably 30, but just press that tab. And start your wiggling. And you don't get a ton of room there because <laughs> those harnesses are so short. Oh, baby. I mean, this has never been taken out, so of course it's gonna fight us. You're so close. 
There we go, voila. All right, so the way that these ECU tunes go down, first you go to the More Mafia website. Ta-da! And then you just go over to the menu, you go to ECU Flashing Service up there. So, and then you're just gonna enter your make, your model, all the info, the year of your uh, bike. So we'll select Honda. It's gonna be the CBR600RR. And for the CBR600RRs, they can be tuned from 2007 to current model years. Uh, there is not ECU flashes available for the 03 to 06. And then it pops up. You can see that there is our flashing service over there. It's $325. Yes, it does add $100 to do the ultimate pops and bangs. I'm just telling you, from doing multiple ones of those ultimate pops and bangs, dude, that is just the gnarliest tune you will ever get for your bike. Now, if you do that, you don't want to have the marble mod done or have your AIS system blocked off, para valves, anything like that. The ultimate pops and bangs is not going to work if you have that stuff done. And then you'll want to be decatted as well because if there is still a catalytic converter in your motorcycle, if you do the ultimate pops and bangs, so you're still going to get the sound of the pop and the bang, it's certainly not gonna be as loud and there will be no fire or flames that come out when it pops. So, and I wouldn't recommend doing that pops and bangs tune to a bike that has the catalytic converter. Maybe you're thinking, oh, I still want the sound. Well, so that pops and bangs, you know, you're not getting the flame because the catalytic converter is in there stopping that. Basically, it's probably just charring and slowly plugging up that catalytic converter. So eventually your exhaust could be plugged. I don't know. What I do know is that you want to be decatted if you do that pops and bangs tune, which you should be decatted already because cats are for losers. Okay, so beyond that, then you're going down here and you're listing your bike because it'll have, so this is the ECU flashing surface. It says 2009 to 2012. So then down below, you know, you have the option up top if you want the pops and bangs. Yes, we selected that. So, and then below that, you're filling in a little bit of additional information. And so your bike year, 2010. And then it says, please list all motorcycle modifications. Because these guys at Moore's, they've done these tunes on a variety of things. So bikes with just the slip on exhaust, bikes with a full exhaust, bikes with a full exhaust and a high flow air filter. Bikes with a full exhaust, high flow air filter, different velocity stacks. And so they are flashing your ECU. They are putting on the exact tune that your bike needs for those modifications so it runs runs perfect with whatever you have done to it. Now my bike being, I mean, it's essentially a full exhaust system, but I can't exactly be like, well, it has an eBay muffler and then a random link pipe and then I decatted it, but it still has the factory headers. It's basically a full exhaust system. So actually what I'm gonna put on it when it says, please list all motorcycle modifications, I'm just gonna put full Tosh exhaust, no cat. That's literally gonna be perfect. That's gonna be close enough to our exact build. The, the flash that they have for that, for just a full exhaust system, it's gonna work just fine. Could it be, you know, slightly fine tuned to my exact exhaust? I mean, yeah, sure. But what would, would we even gain one horsepower if our bike was dyno tuned and ECU flashed to our specific exhaust? I don't know. I, I don't think so. I don't think there's even one horsepower left there to be gained. So and then below you're gonna have a couple options you could add on if you want expedited handling, ECU shipping insurance, uh, expedited shipping. So the handling is just that they, as soon as they get your ECU, they're gonna flash it, get it back in the mail that day. The expedited shipping is that they'll select that. So once the US Postal Service has it, the shipping's gonna be faster. We've got time to kill. There is other motorcycles in the garage. I'm not really, I'm not gonna add any of this stuff. You know, if we added all these different things, it, we'd essentially add like $70 to our order. And I've always had good luck with them, you know, so it's a Monday with us sending our ECU out today. I bet it'll be, 
eight days. I bet Tuesday next week we'll get this back. Usually a week's time is always what I've gotten them back and I've never selected the expedited handling, shipping, anything like that. Alrighty. So then you hit add to cart. Okay, so then you can see your order, all the details on it. So then we will just go to a checkout. No, we don't wanna add any keychains. Some of their keychains are pretty cool, but. All right, so our order was place we got the confirmation email. Now I forgot to mention, but you're gonna have numbers on your ECU and you can click down, expand the menu in the flash service that you're looking at. Make sure the numbers on your ECU, you know, they're gonna have like 12 different ECU numbers for different VINs and stuff like that. Make sure that your ECU number is one of the ones listed on Moore's site there. I checked ours, it certainly is. So now in the email, it's basically gonna walk you through some instructions, what exactly you do from here. So on your ECU, when you box that up, what I always do is I just have a piece of paper, you know, with my info rubber band to it, but they want your contact information so on that piece of paper, I write my name, address, phone number. I walk them through the bike information again. So 2010 CBR, full Tosh exhaust, no cat. So that that is always with the ECU and they don't even have to look to line up my name with the right order or try and keep things lined up. If anything gets separated, they always know then what flash needs to go on this ECU and where it's getting shipped to. So let me do that now, write my info, bike info, rubber band it to this, throw it in a box, and then at the bottom of your email, it's gonna have that exact address that you're gonna ship this to. So, 3401 Wade Hampton Boulevard, Taylors, South Carolina, 29687. So yeah, let me get this buttoned up and then we'll go to the post office.